Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. Today in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to change the fake company names into real companies with real logos in American Truck Simulator. To uh, explain a little bit, if we look around where the truck is parked right now, we can see across the street, up over the truck top, we have this place called Gallon Oil. To our left, we have this thing called Taco Kingdom. Across the street, you might just be able to make out a haul at gas, and then there's an Annie's restaurant. The problem is that none of these companies exist, and what we're gonna learn how to do in this tutorial is to change it to this. What we can see now is our gallon oil, or whatever it was, let's hop out of the truck to take a look, has been transformed into an Exxon gasoline station with all the correct signs. Taco Kingdom is now Taco Bell, the correct logo on the building and the correct sign up behind the truck here. Across the street, we can see that the Hollett gas has now been transformed into Love's Gas, which is a real U.S. gas chain. And then Denny's now is the restaurant that has replaced Annie's. This mod will replace all of the company names, signs on the on the backs of trucks and the trailers and trucks and things, your destination and pickup locations. It trans transforms your American Truck Simulator environment into a real environment representing the real companies that exist in the world today. Let's go learn how to do this. There are three steps. It's really easy. We're going to go subscribe to the correct mod in the Steam Workshop. We're going to activate the mod in American Truck Simulator. And then lastly, we're going to make sure that we have the mod in the correct order in our list of mods so that it functions properly within the game. Let's jump over to Steam to subscribe to the mod. So we're on Steam right now. The question is, how do we get to the mod within American Truck Simulator that we want to subscribe to to pull it into our game? There are two ways to do this. You can go directly to the link, and I'll put a link to this mod down in the video description. But if you want to learn how to navigate to the mods, I'll show you that now. Uh, the easiest way I know to get there is to go to Library and Home. And this pulls up a list of all that the games that you have. Now, I have American Truck Simulator on the list on the left-hand side uh, as a favorite. But if you can't see it, you can just type in like American and that will pull up the list of the games that American Truck Simulator will be there. And then select that game from the list on the left-hand side to pull it up within your library on the main page. Now, underneath the green play button, we have a number of options. To go to the mod workshop, we want to click on workshop. This is a great resource, by the way. There are tons of mods that here that you can explore. The problem is there are probably thousands of mods for American Truck Simulator, so we need to zero in on the one that we want. The fastest way to do that is in that search bar that's up over your avatar is to type some of the name of the, comp the mod that we want. I know that it's called Real Companies, so I'm just going to type that part in, and let's just search for that. And sure enough, this is the mod that I know we want. Now, there are other mods that will do this, and people have their own preferences. This Real Companies, Gas Stations, and Billboards is the one that I like the best. I feel like it's kept up to date the most often. It's not created problems in my game, and I really like the vision behind the mod. So this is the one that I subscribe and use to, but there are other good ones as well. Now, I'm going to scroll down. I'm currently subscribed to it. When you first get here, you're probably going to see a button that says plus subscribe, all you have to do to subscribe the mod is click on that subscribe button and it will put a little check mark beside subscribed, give you a little of a notification. This item item has been added to your subscriptions. You're all done. You just installed the real companies, gas stations and billboards mod in your American Truck Simulator game. Let's go back to the game now to activate it within the game and get it within the right order. So we're back on the loading screen for American Truck Simulator. Let's learn how to activate the mod that we just installed to make it show up in the profile in the game that we're playing. A quick reminder, mods are by profile. So I've got my Zilla Blitz level 30 profile selected at the top. If I want to change the profile where the mod is going to be activated, I could pick one of my other ones or start a new one. But I know that I want it in my main one here, which is this level 30 uh, profile that I've got going. So I've got the right profile selected. Now the next step to activate the mod is to click on the mods option, which is the fourth one down on the loading list up above my head here. So I'm going to click on that to open it up. And this will show all of the mods that I have currently installed in the game. There's a bunch of them. Your list may be longer or shorter, depending upon how active you are with modding. Now on the left hand side, we see the mods that are installed in the game. On the right hand side in this list, we see the mods that are listed as active mods. So on the left hand side, we know that we subscribe to the mod in the Steam Workshop, which means that we've now installed it in our game. I'm going to scroll down here. You can also use the search bar at the top too to make this faster, but I'm just going to scroll down here. There's not that many. And so here it is on the middle of this page. I can see real companies, gas stations and billboards. I know that's the mod that I just subscribed to. So it's in my game and I'm good. It's a good checkpoint at this point. I'm going to click on the mod and then I'm going to click the arrow in the middle here, the right arrow to install the mod into the game. 
Another way I can do it is to just double click on it. That's a fast shortcut. So double click on it. And we can see now that the active mods list has real companies, gas stations, and billboards right at the top of it. That's step two. Let's talk about step three. Step three is the question you want to always be asking when you're installing a mod for American Truck Simulator is, is the mod in the right order? The key point here is that mods need to go in a particular order in order to function properly in the game. And to get this correct with this mod, I'm going to refer us to the GMC Logistics Mod List Order. And they are an organization that does a ton of stuff with American Truck Simulator. They will they have forgotten more than I will never know ever know about American Truck Simulator. So we're going to use their list. And we can notice here we have to figure out, OK, what kind of a mod is real companies, gas stations and billboards? And as I look through this list here, I can see that this is a graphics and a weather setup mod. So it's going to change the graphics in the game. Right. So I know that's what type of a mod it is. And I can see here then that it's not a background map. It's not a loading screen. It's not a sound mod. It's a graphics and weather mod. So it's going to go near the top. And as I look at my list here now, I can see that I do have a weather mod. I have Frosty Wheels and Frosty installed here. So the comp currently having the real companies and gas stations and billboards mod on there theoretically should work really, really well. However, I also know I generally like within the weather and graphics category, I like the weather mods at the top. So I'm going to click on real companies, gas stations and billboards come down to this button on the bottom left that says decrease priority. And I'm going to click it once and click it twice. And I'm going to get it to uh, Frosty. So it's underneath the Frosty, which is my weather mod that I currently have installed. Now, uh, otherwise, the next one, we can look down this minimal advisor interface for ATS and ETS2. I know that that is a user interface and an other mod. And if I look in my list, I can see now that the Real companies and gas stations should be above this user interface and other mod. So I'm pretty confident now. I know the rest of the list is in the right order too. So I'm pretty confident now that I've installed, I've activated real companies correctly and I've shifted it to the right place in my mod list order. If we've done everything correctly, we should be able now to confirm our changes, which is right beside me here at the bottom of the screen. And now I can see I've got eight mods active instead of seven. Going to click on continue career. And if I've done it all right, when you load the game up, you're going to see real company names in your American Truck Simulator environment. Voila, we can see as before, we've got Exxon Gas, Taco Bell, all of our companies have been named correctly. And we can now enjoy a realistic American Truck Simulator environment. Um, if you are a Steam Achievement Hunter, uh, or you like Steam Achievements, uh, one quick thing to stick around for. the In the Steam Achievements, they're still going to have the fake company names. So you have to figure out, like, how am I going to know what the fake company name is when I map up to the real company name in the game now if I need one of those fake company deliveries for an achievement? Because some of the achievements in Steam are tied to delivering to or picking up from specific companies. There is a, a conversation in Steam and there's a, a, a a thread in Steam that lists all of the names, the former company names and what they've been changed to. I'll put a link to that down in the description as well. So if you need to know what a name has been changed from and to, that list has it and you can use that to correctly get your achievements while you're playing American Truck Simulator. Thanks everybody. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and you're noticing, hey, there's snow around here and you'd like to know how to add snow to your American Truck Simulator game, I can guide you to this tutorial link right here. Have a great day. Happy trails. Enjoy your drives in American Truck Simulator.